Welcome to Craft Plan Create. Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Monica. I am a crafter and today I'm going to get started on my Gryffindor Courage journal that I received for Christmas in December 2023. It says on the bottom, a guided journal for embracing your inner Gryffindor. This is the back of my journal. When I received this journal, it was brand new, but I'm going to take it apart, customize it and make it my own. So you can see the binding is still intact. I really love Harry Potter. What can I say? I'm like a fan. As you can see here, there are not very many pages left, and that's what I'm showing you. I basically looked at how many pages there were and ripped out half of the pages. And if you can see here, I'm going to show you in just a second. The pages I took out are basically equal to the ones I left in. And I did this with the intention of really customizing this journal to be something that I would want to write in every single day. I've been going through some really personal health challenges. And as you can see here, when I ripped out half the pages, it kind of messed up some of the binding. And one of the things I definitely want to do is strengthen the binding here on the book. And I have this ribbon and I think I'm going to go ahead and use it because it's really, really strong. So what I'm going to attach it down with is Fabri-Tac. If you've never used Fabri-Tac before and you're wondering about the consistency or the strength of it, I really kind of equate it to hot glue. It really bonds fabrics, lace, glass, leather, wood trims, and it grabs really fast and dries clear. The one caveat I have is that if you're going to adhere it to material, you want to be careful of seepage. So if you plop down too much, you might want to smooth it down with your finger. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this down, trim this off, and just because I want to show you guys something, you see the seepage that's coming through the fabric. That is too much glue and hopefully it'll dry up nice. If not, I'll just cover it with other things, but it's going to provide a good strength to my binding here and it's going to keep my book intact. Now with these two pages in the introduction, I want to create a pocket of some kind. So I'm just looking at it and trying to figure out how I want to do that. Do I want a side pocket or a top pocket? But I'm definitely going to keep these two pages with the scene of Hogwarts there intact. So the first thing I want to do is just clip back these this front page so it doesn't keep flipping over. I'm just doing that with some binder clips that I have. The next thing I'm going to do is take this three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to align the top of the page halfway through the punch itself and then I'm going to punch that little finger tab out. I'm going to distress around this punched page here for my pocket with Distress Oxide Vintage Photo Color from Ranger. It's a Tim Holtz brand. Also using the Tim Holtz blending tool to apply the ink and I'm protecting the rest of my pages with this recycled Amazon packaging. Now that that page is sufficiently distressed, I just wanted to show you I distressed the other side as well because I realize you're going to be able to see the color behind the finger tab. To create my side pocket, I'm going to apply this Aqua Tombow Mono liquid glue in a very thin line at the top of this page and also at the bottom of the page. So here is my pocket and I just need to create something to go in there. Now on this title page, I want to keep the Harry Potter, the badge, the courage, but I want to cover up that wording. and I think I want to use this picture that is salvaged from the journal itself and apply it there and make a pocket or something. I'm not sure which drawing I want to use. I kind of want to use this artwork with Harry and Hermione on the hippogriff because both people require courage in this particular scene. So let's go ahead and get our paper trimmer to separate these pictures from one another. The paper is very flimsy, so what I did was I put double-sided tape and I'm just going to place this picture onto another piece of the journal paper. My hope is that with more layers, the pocket will be stronger. Now that that's adhered down, we just need to fussy cut this out. This tool is the corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers and I'm going to use a scalloped corner to scallop the corners of this picture. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and distress the edges of the picture with Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. Now I'm going to put the picture on this Stamperia paper. I have no idea what paper pack it came out of. And I really like the writing, but I'm not a bug person, so I don't know if I'm going to use the bugs to back this. Because I do like the wording and the writing and the staining, the fake staining on the paper. Or if I'm just going to use the green. After looking at this on both sides, I think I'm just going to use this piece right here. And because water-based glues will warp your paper, I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac to adhere this down. I'm going to trim this pocket down and I will be right back. Before I adhere this down, I'm going to use my Kodamaru Pro corner rounder just to round the corners for my pocket. You can use any kind of glue to glue this down, but I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because I just like how it keeps my paper flat and smooth. I think it's an acetone base. I've been looking on the packaging, but whatever it is, it does not cause my paper to warp, so I like that. So I'm just going to make sure that this is adhered down properly. And I just realized I have a pocket on top of a pocket. Oh well. So what am I going to put in this pocket? So basically I have a friend who has a candy shop and all of her discarded cardboard she has given to me. And I'm going to recycle some of those materials. I'm not sure if I want to recycle this particular piece or use something else. And I also don't know, I haven't decided, like, do I want the piece of cardboard to stick out of the pocket or not? I'm not sure. So I'm going to decide on that too. But I did find this book at a secondhand shop. And I just want to tell you, it is missing so much of the things that went in the pockets and everything and some of the pages are ripped. And so I'm going to use some of the pictures that are in this book and I'm going to take it apart and I really want to use some of these original drawings from JK Rowling and adhere it into my journal. So I'm taking this journal page and just measuring it against the drawing there and seeing if it'll fit inside of the journal itself. I think it will so I'm just going to go ahead and rip this out cancel that. As I started ripping, I realized that if I kept ripping, it was going to rip right across the artwork that I wanted to use in my journal. So I got an X-Acto knife that I have in my craft box, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So if you're new to my channel, I just have to tell you I'm not an advocate of ripping up brand new books, but this book just needed new life. It has so many good pictures in it. See what I mean? There's like missing contents and stuff and there's some ripped pages. I'm trying to find them for you. But anyway, I wanted to salvage a lot of this really cool stuff that's in here and I hope to give it a new life. So I think this is going to be the last bit of my video here is creating what goes in this pocket. And I'm taking a scrap bit of scrapbook paper that I have. And I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to cut it. And I'm making a mark with my nail because I just keep it simple. And so now I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer and cut right there where my nail mark is. After I trim it down, I'm going to see if it fits in the pocket. If not, I'm going to remove 1 16th of an inch and try again. So it does not fit. So let's remove a 16th of an inch. You can keep those scraps or toss them. I like to keep my scraps. It looks like it needs just a little bit more here. 
Okay, so that fits in, but it's really tight. So do I want to leave it like that? No, I don't think so. Just a little bit more. All right, so let me clear this all up and I'll bear it back. While I was away, I rounded my corners and I just want to show you that it does fit. So let's go ahead and see if we can't attach this picture down here. I don't think I want it to have a perfect edge. I want to like kind of fussy cut trim around this artwork. So let's just see what we're gonna do here. Oh my goodness, technical difficulties. I'm so sorry about that. I'm just inking some of the page that I ripped. Just look at that color difference here. So I am going to put more vintage photo around the edges of this drawing here. Let's go ahead and glue all this down. I'm sure a glue stick or PVA glue would work, but for me, I prefer to use the acetone-based glue, Fabri-Tac, to adhere my paper down. Usually with a, a semi-gloss kind of paper, glue stick isn't going to work great. This is another reason why I use the Fabri-Tac. As I look at this writing space, I definitely want to make the corner a little more rustic. So I went ahead and just tore the edge to give it that rustic feel. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here for today. And here you can see that rustic edge. And I'm going to pop this writing space back into the pocket. If you're new here, I just want to thank you for watching my video. Please check out my other content. Please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you have an awesome day. And if you're curious about this book that I salvaged, hang tight. I'll show it to you. Getting this far in this journal makes me really excited to see what I'm going to do with the pages that follow. So here is the book. I really love all the different artwork that's in here, but they have really cool like paper things that I want to create some ephemera with like this living with legilimens. It's attached in there. I don't know how I'm going to remove it. 
but let me see if I can find one of those areas that was just destroyed. It's missing some pages, so I clearly can't show you those. But see, this was a pocket, and it's just ripped off the hinges. You can see that. And so I don't know if I'm going to take that out somehow and create a pocket in my journal. One thing I do know for sure is I don't want my journal to be all Harry Potter. So there's that. Until next time, everyone, have a great day. Bye.